to the windows to the motherfucking walls all right so we record it is currently 10 48 at night and i'm just not recording I'm about to take these glasses off because you can see my lights and I feel like, well, I got to take them off anyway. I'm about to do makeup. Duh. So today I am going to be doing a look on the new, well, I don't know how new it really is, but I just got this in October's BoxyCharm. This is the Ace Butte. Is it Butte or Butte? I'm going to just go with Butte. Ace Butte Falling For You Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to take it out so y'all can see. The front looks just like the uh, box it came in. Um, it does come with a mirror. I'm not gonna blind y'all with that. This is what it looks like. Very far. Um, we got some oranges. Uh, oranges, obviously. This looks like a mustard yellow shade, but it's really like a pumpkin orange. If I can. No. It looks yellow, golden yellow AF in here, but it's really orange. Um, got some lime greens. So I'm gonna do a look using that and um, just using maybe a couple new other new products, nothing crazy. And we're just gonna get into this fall look. That's it. We're doing something very fall. I haven't done a fall look, which I feel like since fall started. So. And if you want to see what I came up with, then just keep watching. Glasses are off. The first thing I'm going to do is, I think I'm doing my eyebrows first. Brush these bad boys out. I trimmed them a little bit earlier today, so hopefully they look decent. So I did my eyebrows and I used the Nana Coco Brow Styler Sculpting Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And I did not carve them out yet, I just filled them in. Um, I'm gonna put my primer on first before I um, carve up my eyebrows. This is um, also something I got in BoxyCharm. This is a primer, it is the Georgette Clinger Primer. Um, it's a Marula primer, it's for all skin types. It is a blurring primer. Um, it's hydrating, long wearing, has advanced hyaluronic acid, for a silky smooth makeup application that will not settle into fine lines, pores, or dry areas. Um, so, oh. Okay, well that came out. It's very, I can see that liquidy, if you can see that. So, it feels like water, surprisingly. definitely feels like water so I can understand where they coming from with the hyaluronic acid situation um, I want to put on some more maybe it literally comes out let's see if it'll focus like water like it's very runny and when you rub it in it feels like the cheap lotion like the watery runny lotion Now I'm gonna actually carve out my eyebrows really quick. And um, for the top, I'm using the foundation. And then for the bottom, I'll be using a concealer. A new one, I want to see how it works by itself, um, which is what I do with all new primers that I get. I uh, um see how they work by themselves and then that way I can see which other primers I can combine them with if I want to. So that's that. And then I'm gonna use another or a concealer. Um, I always use my foundation shade on the top and then
um, I am going to go into foundation and today we are going to be using the Nana Coco liquid I'm sorry the Nana Coco HD perfection liquid foundation full coverage so let's shake that up and the shade I got is honey it's a little dark for me not gonna lie but once I do the concealer and everything it'll lighten up a little bit and right here I only use one pump as y'all can see it's pretty thick it's taking a minute to kind of you know run down my arm and I'm going to take a Nana Coco flat brush and this is the number 904 and I'm going to take that on my hand and basically paint my face this is a um, matte foundation just to let y'all know so and I have dry skin um, so I recommend that if you have dry skin and you are using a matte foundation to use um, a very hydrating primer going in with a second pump and I'm going to paint my face again okay and once I've done that I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge I believe this is a this is an elf one and I'm just going to blend that in I dampen my sponge because if you ever first of all damp sponges anything damp soaks up product and I don't like a cake face like I don't mind full coverage but I don't like cake if that makes sense for the concealers we're going in with today I'm going in with the Anastasia uh, magic touch concealer in the shade 16 and the Nana Coco concealer, the Nana Coco concealer in the shade I believe eggshell Yes, eggshell. I'm going in with the darker shade first, which is the Anastasia one. And I'm just going to do the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner, just like that. So I'm actually going to go in with the um, Cream Bronzer by ABH in the shade Hazelnut. This is very dark. And then for the nose, I'm gonna take this Ruby Kisses brush you're gonna hate me it doesn't have a name on it and I'm going to tap into that I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer And then once I have that all blended out, I'm going to take the Nana Coco Concealer, which is very light, and I'm going to put it very close to the inner part of my eye. That's all I'm gonna do, just that little dot right there. Do the same thing to the other side, just to brighten it up. A little scratch on the chin and the forehead, and a little bit down the nose. So once I have that blended in everywhere where I want, I'm going to actually set everything with powders now. Once you, oh no, I'm sorry, I lied to y'all. I forgot my cream blush. I've been lately into cream blushes, and here's why. I always thought blush was nice, but I never thought it lasted on my face. I just thought it was pointless. So I decided to start using cream blush, and it makes it last longer. So this is the Elf Putty Blush in the shade. Bora Bora. It's a very bright pink blush. 
very bright not something i usually go for i usually go for like um muted mauves and peachy color shades um for my um blush i'm going to try i'm going to try this e48 brush let's see if this is going to work. Now I'm going to set everything. I'm actually going to mix two powders together. Very OD, not necessary. But I'm going to take the ABH loose setting powder in the shade Deep Peach and then the Airspun powder in Naturally Natural. OG classic and I'm going to mix these two together so now that I've mixed the two together I am actually going to take the same sponge I've been using but I use a different side top off and I'm going to mush out my creases because we don't want to set a creased eye going to tap into the powder one time it's very coated blow off the excess and that okay now that I have the powder everywhere I'm actually going to go in with this Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Golden Cashews. And I'm just gonna set my entire face with that using a Morphe Y5 brush. Now we can move on to contour and bronzing. I'm going to use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in the shade, um, in the color medium to dark. It comes with a bronzer, contour, and a highlight shade that I never use. <laughs> Just being honest, people. Just being honest. I'm going to bronze with the Morphe R2 and I'm taking the Sculpt shade right here. Then once I have my bronzer and contour everywhere I wanted to put it, which was my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead, my nose, my chin, and my jaw. Now I'm going to set my blush with this e.l.f. blush in the shade Always Rosy. It's a very deep mauve. I'm going to take a Morphe Y4 brush. Ooh. Okay, I did two taps and there was a lot on there. So I advise you to be careful. And I'm going to not start at the apple of my cheek, which is right here. I'm going to start at the highest point of my cheekbone, which is back here. And I'm going to go up. Because we want a lifted look. And that's it. That's all I'm going to put. All right. So now I'm baking. Um, I put the same powder I use under my eye. I'm using that to bake, which was a mix of the two powders. Now I'm getting ready to go in with these, uh, this Falling For You palette by Ace Beauté. And I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. All right, so boom, I got y'all zoomed in. Okay, so the first shade, okay, is it Beauty? Ace Beauty? 
Y'all, I don't know. We're just gonna go with Ace Beauty. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with the orange shade. It is Persimmon. Persimmon? Child. Don't give me the line, y'all. I never went to spell it. Beat. And I'm going to go in with a Morphe E23 brush. And I'm actually going to try to use the mirror that's in the panel. See if y'all can see. I let this uh, primer set a little too long. It kind of dry me out a little bit on my eyelid. Oh, it is what it is. Do the same thing to the other eye. Repeat the same steps. I don't know how people do one eye first and then the other eye because it'll be just my luck that <laughs> I try to do one eye and then the other eye and then both the eyes look different. Mm -mm. No man. I'm not trying to be in here looking crazy, you know what I'm saying? Alright, that is pretty good. Pretty fine. Now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M518 and I'm gonna go into pumpkin pie is the next shade I'm gonna go into. I always tap off the excess people. I'm old school. Those people that um those makeup artists that can pack shadow on and then go in with whatever and then blend it out like that. More power to you, honey, because I can't do that. It'd be a muddy mess. I'm old school. I got to go in the way I was taught, which was building up color. These shadows are pretty pigmented, though. Not going to lie. And then after that, I'm going to use the same brush that I used for pumpkin pie, and I'm going to go into autumn with it. It's not really a difference in the shade of pumpkin pie in autumn. Not like I thought it was going to be. They're pretty much the same color. I mean, you can see the slightest difference, but not to where you need to use both of them. And the shade I'm going to go into is Pinecone, and I'm using a Real Techniques. Three, mm -mm. 305 brush. And I'm going back in with the um, Morphe M518 with no extra product on it and just blending that out from the top. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And, and I'm going to go into Chestnut with a Morphe M562 brush. Just a little bit. This is the darkest color in the palette. I'm not doing a cut crease today. I'm just gonna lay some glitter glue down and go in with two shimmers. Two, dos. And I'm going in with the um, Beauty Creations Glitter Primer. I'm going to use this 
to lay my shimmers down. And I'm going to put one drop on here. And then a little drop there. First, the first shade I'm going to go into is Cherry Pie. Shade that's red. It looks like that. I'm going to put that in the center of my lid. And then I'm going to go in on the inner corner and shade called Apple. All right, so the eye should come out looking like this. And I'm just gonna line um, my lash line with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. Hey y'all, I'm back. Boom, zoomed y'all out just like that, magic. Um, now, first I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Oh, I thought this didn't work. Something don't work. Now that I did all that, I'm going to go in with the Danessa Myricks Enlighten Powder in the shade Angel Wings. And I'm actually just gonna work out the cap. This stuff is very, uh, very pigmented. And I'm going in with a BH Cosmetic It's My Ray Ray number five brush. Just a little bit. So this is more of a um, like a pink e iridescent e highlighter, and then a little bit on my nose. And then to go in and finish my bottom lash line, put my lashes on, and then I'm gonna come back and do a lip with you guys. So unfortunately, you guys, this is where my mic dies. So we're going to be doing a voiceover for the last few minutes of the video. But I'm just putting a Maybelline gloss on top. It is the Lifter Gloss in the shade Reef. So this was the final look, you guys. Um, I took my bonnet off, kind of flat out my hair a little bit. And this was the final look for everything. Um, I really enjoyed the palette. It was very nice. Um, the lip came out just exactly how I wanted it to be. A little bit of orange with a little bit of burgundy to tie in with the eye look. Um, I will have everything listed in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other fall looks you guys want to see. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video.